Hello people of God, this is Prophetess Anastasia Blue. Welcome back to my channel. Those of you guys just joining us for the first time, welcome. This is a channel of peace, love, healing, growth, prosperity. And you guys are more than welcome to be here. Glory to God. So today we are going to be reading out of, of the second Kings. And I will be starting from the fifth verse. And um, before we get started, I would love us to pray over this word. Dear Heavenly Father, we invite you in this place to have your way in this place. Manifest your presence in this place. Let the words that I speak be not of me, but of your Holy Spirit. Let your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven, O oh God. Meet every need, heal every heart, O oh God. Cover this word, O oh God. We believe you to do it, and we know that you will. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Glory to God. People of God, um, I'll be starting from the fifth chapter, and it says, Now Naaman was commander of the army of the king of Aram. He was a great man in the sight of his master and highly regarded, because through him the Lord had given victory to Aram. He was a valiant soldier, but he had leprosy. Now bands of raiders from Aram had gone out and had taken captive a young girl from Israel, and she served Naaman's wife. She said to her mistress, If only my master would see the prophet who is in Samaria, he will cure him of his leprosy. Naaman went to his master and told him what the girl from Israel had said. By all means, go, the king of Aram replied. I will send a letter to the king of Israel. So Naaman left, taking with him ten talents of silver, six thousand shekels of gold, ten sets of clothing. The letter that he took to the king of Israel read, With this letter I am sending my servant Naaman to you so that you may cure him of his leprosy. Glory to God. People of God, I just want to point out the faith that is being, that is being put out here. The servant girl had faith to tell her mistress the mistress had faith to tell her husband and then her husband had faith to tell the king and the king had faith to send him with a letter to the king of israel glory to god i just wanted to point out faith people of god faith okay let's continue as soon as the as soon as the king of israel read the letter he tore his rope and said Am I God? Can I kill and bring back to life? Why does this fellow send someone to me to be cured of his leprosy? See how he is trying to pick a quarrel with me? When Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his robe, he sent him this message. Why have you torn your robe? Have the man come to me, and he will know that there is a prophet in Israel. Glory to God. So Naaman went to his house with horses and chariots and stopped at the door of Elisha's house. Elisha sent a messenger sent a messenger to say to him, "Go wash yourself seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will be restored, and you will be cleansed. Glory to God. Instructions, people of God, instructions. But Naaman went away angry and said, I thought that he would surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God, wave his hand over the spot and cure me of leprosy. Glory to God. Are not Abana and Farpa, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters in Israel? Couldn't I wash in them and be cleansed? So he turned and went off in rage. Glory to God. People of God, isn't that just like most of us? We expect God to move in this boom, loud way. Or we expect God to use like the riches of this world to answer our prayers. But God is so funny that he will use a shepherd boy tending the sheep. Or he'll use a... Uh, a servant girl, or he'll use a, 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 a prostitute to answer your prayers. <laughs> your prayers are wrapped in a package that's unfamiliar to you. The overlook. Glory to God. 
Let's continue. Naaman's servant went to him and said, My father, if the prophet had told you to do some great thing, would you not have done it? Exactly. How much more than when he tells you, wash and be cleansed, glory to God. So he went down and dipped himself in the Jordan seven times as the man of God had told him and his flesh was restored and he became clean like that of a young boy. Glory to God. People of God following instructions. People of God obedience. Glory to God. People of God seven completion. Obedience. Instructions. And completion. Glory to God. The Lord is healing some of you from your leprosy. People of God. Hallelujah. Because of your obedience, people of God. Hallelujah. Then Naaman and all his attendants went back to the man of God. He stood before him and said, Now I know there is no God in all the world except in Israel. Glory to God. So please accept a gift from your servant. The prophet answered, As surely as the Lord lives, whom I serve, I will not accept a thing. And even though Naaman urged him, he refused. If you will not, said Naaman, please let me, your servant, be given as much earth as a pair of mules can carry, for your servant will never again make burnt offerings and sacrifice to any other God, but to the Lord. <clears throat> Glory to God. But may the Lord forgive your servant for this one thing. When my master entered the temple of Ramon, to bow down and he is leaning on my arm and I have to bow there also when I bow down in the temple of Ramon may the Lord forgive your servant for this glory to God go in peace Elisha said after Naaman had traveled some distance Gehazi the servant of Elisha the man of God said to himself my master was too easy on Naaman this Aramean by not accepting from him what he brought as surely as the Lord lives I will run after him and get something from him so Gehazi hurried after Naaman when Naaman saw him running towards him he got down from the chariot to meet him is everything all right he asked everything is all right Gehazi answered my master sent me to say Two young men from the company of the prophets have just come to me from the hills of Ephraim. Please give me, give them a talent of, of silver and two sets of clothing. By all means, take two talents, said Naaman. He urged Gehazi to accept them and then tied, it up, tied up two talents of silver in two bags with two sets of clothing. Some of you may be seeing two, two, two. Glory to God. He gave him. He gave them to two of his servants, glory to God, and they carried them away to Gehazi. They carried them away and they carried them ahead of Gehazi. When Gehazi came to the hill, he took the things from the servants and put them away in the house. He sent the men away and they left. When he went in and stood before his master, Elisha asked him, Elisha asked him, Where have you been, Gehazi? Your servant didn't go anywhere, Gehazi answered. But Elisha said to him, Was not my spirit with you when the man got down from his chariot to meet you? Is this the time to take money or to accept clothes or olive gro groves and vineyards or flocks and herds and male and female servants? Nehemiah leprosy will cling to you and to your descendants forever. Then Gehazi went from Elisha's presence, and his skin was leprous. It became white as snow. Glory to God. People of God, the Lord is with you. The Lord will protect you. There is nothing the enemy can do to hurt you or against you without the Lord revealing it to you. You are a child of God. God is the true friend. God is your true rider. He is the true ride or die. He is the true friend. Friend, he is faithful and true. Glory to God. People of God, <clears throat> the Lord is healing some of your relationships. The Lord is restoring you, people of God. This is a gift from the Lord. 
Okay, the Lord, we are we are his soldiers. The Lord is the true king of all kings. We we come to serve, not to be served. Glory to God. Do not the Lord says, do not accept money from the unclean, from robbers. The Lord says his house is not is his house is a house of prayer, not of robbers. Gehazi may have betrayed you, but God is restoring peace, harmony, and balance. The Lord says, try again, look again. The tables have turned. It's your turn. You're up. Glory to God. The Lord says he has given you authority. Do not abuse your power. This is, the Lord says, do not ask for money for prayer. You have been chosen, Esther. Come get this crown. You have been chosen, Solomon, because you only ask God for wisdom. You only ask God for things to help his people. Glory to God. God has opened up a gateway for you. You are qualified, David. It's time to make the next move. Glory to God. God is your true friend. God will provide. Glory to God. So people of God, I pray that this message meets you in peace. For those of you still on your fast, congratulations. Okay, I pray success for you guys. The Lord wanted me to share a story. The last time I fasted like this was four years ago and it was my first time really truly fasting for the Lord and um, I had lost somebody very very close to me and I went into this healing process with the Lord this is when I said yes and I answered my calling that was on my life that's on my life and I remember every day looking at the, the, the date and the time like I couldn't wait for my fast to be over because I was so hungry and I wanted to eat and I remember the last day of my fast I was I used to in the kitchen I had a table and I used to sit at this table and pray meditate read my word and then I remember the last day of my fast I got up off that table and I stood next to the refrigerator and the refrigerator is like across from my table and as I got up and I said my prayer and I and I crossed over next to the refrigerator I felt this presence leave me I felt this empty cold scared feeling and I said oh my gosh I don't want to be on this side I looked back at the table and I said I want to go back over there and I remember that cold alone scared feeling till this day and I remember saying to myself oh my gosh Lord I love you I don't ever want to be without you. So four years later, when, I, when I'm when i on this fast again, I valued my fast. I value the fast. I love the Lord. I want more of you, Lord. I need you, Lord. So I don't know who that's for, but this is a most precious moment, precious time. And not only this... Not anyone, not anyone can fast because I remember trying to fast so many times after that and I was not able to do it. The Lord has to give you grace to fast. You need grace from the Lord to fast, people of God. Glory to God. <clears throat> people of God, this has been an amazing journey. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. The Lord love you guys. And may you go in peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.